All right, everybody. Uh, hello. I am about to head out on a morning cruise. It feels great. It's like 7:30 in the morning. Sorry, my hair is a little crazy. I just woke up, but uh, I I think it, it feels good. We've had so much rain recently, like wettest year ever. It feels like so. There's like actual grass blooming all over the desert, and it's really cool. So let's see what we can find. All right, we just made it to where we'll be hiking today. We're close to the ocean now, but pretty soon we'll be up into the hills more. Okay, last time I was here, this was a desert. I don't really know what happened to that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I expect to see like a vine snake or a parrot snake or something. But no, this is usually brown. <laughs> Super cool. Okay, I actually just found a patch nose snake. Unfortunately, it was in a big bush and it got away, but that's a good sign. We're gonna keep going and hopefully find another. This cute little <clears throat> desert iguana just did the funniest run I've ever seen. He was like doing a high knee jump um, down the, he was running from the little bush to the other side and <laughs> he just, like went upright and did these weird high kicks. I think he just woke up. <laughs> it was funny. Well, that's, uh, it feels sneaky. That patch nose was a really good sign. I feel like we can find some more. Let's just see what we can do. Oh my God, it's a patch nose snake. It just caught a whip tail and it has it in its mouth. The same patch nose I saw earlier, I think. Holy cow. That's incredible. Look at it. Okay, now that I think about it, this is not the same snake, because we are not in the same place. Just another similarly sized patch nose. Right, it's kind of difficult to see, but the patch nose is swallowing it. Down in the bush. see this but it's through a lot of it's just got the tail in his mouth oh there it is oh now he's thinking about moving away looks like he finished the whip tail oh he's actually climbing up into the bush oh that's interesting there's our friend. The hungry little patch nose. Well, I would love to catch that snake, but he just ate. We should leave him alone. Absolutely incredible find. Wow. At first, he came out of a hole next to the trail with the lizard in its mouth up off the ground and he slithered into the bush where he subdued it and then swallowed it. Wow. One of the coolest reptile encounters I've ever had. There's a cute little side blotch lizard. I'm just showing that because it's actually quite rare in this area. Oh my God, I cannot believe that. There is another western patch nose snake eating another orange-throated whiptail. Before this day, I had seen two western patch nose snakes. Now I've seen five western patch nose snakes, two of them 
eating whiptails. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Two in half an hour? I thought one was the find of my life. I cannot believe this. Wow. A real front and center view of this one. That officially ingrains this as the best day of herping I've ever had. <laughs> okay, the patch nose snake started like moving away a little bit and I felt like my presence at the scene was interrupting so I decided to take my leave. But wow, that was incredible. I cannot believe that just happened twice. Twice in half an hour of each other. I just, I'm an absolute shock. It's gonna take a lot to top today. Beautiful California king snake. Last night he was actually crawling across um, our yard right before the hurricane. And uh, we brought him in to keep him from the rains as you can see washed away our road but super cool I was actually hoping to go herping the night before the hurricane because I thought there would probably be a lot of stuff moving and accidentally in a well relatively well populated area beautiful California king snake here in Baja California sir king snakes are not common like this is a very rare snake around our yard for some reason there's a good sized population but elsewhere they're like they're they're just they're crazy rare they it's really interesting don't know really why that is but gorgeous california king snake it's relatively small it has a little heart on his head i found another one that i thought was this one actually but it was a little bit of a differently shaped head Ow! dive bomb Anyway, super cool. I'm going to let him go. Goodbye, little king snake. That's probably where I would go to. Maybe we'll see you again soon. That would be cool. Slurp. Okay, so um, Hurricane Norma passed by a few days ago and we got a lot of rain, but there's our neighbors have a new berm and that's where the keeping a lot of the water out from where these tadpoles, the couch spade foot toad breeding pond usually is. So I um, have saved a lot of them because their water dried up way faster than it usually does especially for how much rain we got we got like a full hurricane and it fills up with just normal rains so um yeah i'm gonna raise these guys up they don't take too long <laughs> just like a week and then i'll let them go back around their pond so yeah super cool um they're just starting to get their legs and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated for once they start turning into little toads. All right, I think I'm gonna end this video here, but amazing experience with the patch nose snakes and cool king snake. Oh, hello, Edward. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll be back again with another one soon.